What is going on guys? So today I think I got something new. Alright guys, so today I went and I think I kind of am going to get a new hobby. Uh, not really uh, into, it, it kind of goes with something else, but it's painting hard baits, uh, crankbaits, poppers, spooks, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty much painting crankbaits. Um, I've been watching a couple videos um, on how to do it. Uh, so I got a couple things from the store and I'm still waiting on another thing to come in the mail, but uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to help me out with this because I, I know what I'm doing a little bit, but I just I don't know all the way and so it's a new experience for me um, I kind of have a grasp on uh, what to do so I'll show you what I got and let me know um, what else I need uh, what else I could use now I, I, I want to tell you right now I went kind of cheap on this um, just for the simple fact that I'm, I'm new to it um, if I get into it more I'll probably get more stuff, uh, probably upgrade some stuff, but for right now, I'm, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, even if they don't turn out the way I want them to, uh, I keep I just keep working at it, keep practicing. But uh, let's dive into what I got today. So to start out, I got this airbrush. This is a Neo um, Gravity Speed Dual Action Airbrush. Now it's just the airbrush. Uh, I've got the... Uh, compressor and the air hose coming in the mail um, from Amazon. Next, I bought this little this little holder thing. It was pretty cheap, but it's to pretty much just hold the hold the crankcase so I don't have to you know get my fingers dirty. And then I built this sort of little platform here with a back. That way I'm not spraying onto the wall or anything. And uh, yeah, so I mean I, this was what I already had laying around. Uh, these cups, I had already some of those cups from rod building. I've got some of these cups right here, these aluminum cups with some stir sticks that I had from lure building. And then I bought uh, just the base colors and then, you know, two of these uh, pearlized colors that I figure I might need. And then this little bottle of reducer. I don't know if that'll focus right there, but I bought this little bottle, they didn't have the eight ounce bottle, um, but they told me that it would be in stock in a couple of days, so I might go get that bigger bottle, because uh, I've, I've seen on the YouTube videos that you need quite a bit of it. But other than that, I don't know exactly what else I would need um, as far as painting wise. Um, I am gonna get some like a manila folder so I can uh, cut out stencils. I am going to make my own stencils. I'm not going to, I'm trying to go as cheap, but still get good quality. Um, I am going to practice on that crankbait right there before I actually start messing with other ones that I actually want to use. That's kind of going to be my, my go-to practice one. And then I'll practice on some paper and stuff. But I feel like if I practice on that, It'll give me the, the right idea on the curves and the stenciling for it and everything. But if you leave a comment down below, let me know uh, what else I might need or if you have any tips or advice. The one thing I am looking for is the top coat. I've seen a couple different top coats. Uh, I'm trying to look for one that's easy to store and um, one that comes out great so easy to store good looking good quality uh, let me know down below uh, if you have any other advice please please let me know if you want to see videos of me painting crankbaits or what you know what we'll make this like a little series we'll we'll start out the testing one I'll do the testing one and then we'll gradually get better and better and I'll bring you guys along with me how about that so hit that like button if you want to see that series. Please hit that subscribe button with that little bell so you're notified when I put out videos for these little crankbaits. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.